Hey everybody, it's Andrea and I'm a naturalist and educator at Severson Dells Nature Center. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you about one of my favorite animal groups in the whole world, and that's frogs. There's a lot of great species in Winnebago County, but today I'm gonna to be focusing on frogs that call from late February to late April. So they're gonna be pretty active right now. And the first frog I'd like to introduce you to is the chorus frog. Chorus frogs are a little bit smaller, they're between one and one and a half inches long. Because of this, they don't live in permanent bodies of water like lakes or ponds. They tend to prefer temporary ephemeral wetlands, so flooded forests, meadows, or prairies. Some people say their call sounds like running your thumb over a pocket comb, and I agree, but I'd love to know if you think the same thing. Let's take a listen to their call. The next frog I'd like to introduce you to is a pretty common resident of Winnebago County. I bet you've seen them before, but you might not have heard them. And that's the Northern Leopard Frog. They're anywhere from three to four inches long, and they live in more permanent bodies of water, like ponds, lakes, and slow moving streams. These frogs have a deeper, softer call, and it sometimes sounds like a chuckle or a creaky door. I'd love to know what you think. Let's take a listen. The next frog I'd like to introduce you to is the pickerel frog. Pickerel frogs are a little bit bigger. They're anywhere between two and three inches long. They prefer to live in cold, clear water like lakes, rivers, and streams, especially bodies of water near woods. Some people say that their call sounds like a snore or a purr or a door creaking open. Now, because this frog is really rare, if you think you've heard them, please try to get an audio recording and contact Forest Preserve staff or myself as that information is very valuable. The next frog I'd like to introduce you to is pretty small. It's the spring peeper. They're one to one and a half inches long. They like to live in temporary ephemeral wetlands. And they do that to avoid predation because of their small size and even predation from other frog species. As their name suggests, their call sounds a little bit like a peep, peep, peep. And when they chorus together, it sounds like jingle bells in the distance. The last frog I'd like to introduce you to is the wood frog. They're two to three inches long and they're most commonly found in woods, as their name suggests, and they rely on temporary vernal pools of water in the woods to lay their eggs. Now their call sounds a little bit like a quacking duck, and I'd love to know if you agree with that. Wood frogs, like pickerel frogs, are very rare in our county, so again, if you hear them, please try to get an audio recording or a video and send it our way at Forest Preserves of Winnebago County or SeversonDells.org. That information can help us protect that species. Now, I encourage you to look for some of these awesome frogs in your area. You'll probably hear frogs like horse frogs calling during the day, but some frogs only call at night. Now, you may already know this, but forest preserves are locked down at night. But there are some volunteers called citizen scientists who have special access to forest preserves who monitor for these calling frogs and contribute valuable information to researchers and land managers around the globe. Being a calling frog monitor only takes a little bit of training and we could use your help. If you're interested, please check out our website at seversondells.org or contact me at andrea at .org. Thank you so much and I hope you find some wonderful frogs today.